Hello, hello everybody and welcome back to my channel. I am Shar. I just wanted to come back to you guys really quick today and just briefly talk about a couple of new things that um, is buzzing around, you know, our celebrities or if not celebrities, just people that are in the public eye. If you are noticing, I am doing something a little bit different. I'm a blonde today. <laughs> Um, just having fun with uh, one of my hair pieces. Um, this is actually not from, oh, you know what? This is actually from Trendy Wigs. Um, they are um, a great company for synthetic wigs. This is not human hair, this is synthetic. Um, I really just set out to buy um, a synthetic wig because I was just trying something new, just trying to see how I would look as a blonde and just wearing it to an event um, actually last summer. And so, yeah, I didn't really wanna, you know what I mean? Really spend a whole, whole lot of money and not really knowing how I was going to look as a blonde. So anyway, <laughs> that's that. But please, if you are interested in really quality, synthetic, beautiful wigs in all different shades and colors, please check out trendy wigs i love them and the prices for their um units are really really reasonable and i love them anywho um as i stated i wanted to move on and talk about like i had an update um with um our little favorite little girl um mayweather uh yaya money yaya and nba young boy uh the update the quick update is that um we still don't know who got her out of jail was it her boyfriend nba young boy or was it her dad we don't know um they still have not revealed but i i've noticed because i've been peeping back and forth because I don't follow her mom and I don't follow her dad, but I've been peeping back and forth into their Instagrams and honey, they're trying to avoid. They are trying to like push it away and get you guys, including me, off of money, Yaya, and kind of just like think about something else. And you know, I don't know, I guess it's legit. Like, you know they want it to die down so they can kind of get a grip on things i mean clearly that's the only thing that they can be doing it's not like they don't know what happened and it's not like they don't deem it to be very very serious about what's going on with her they know it's serious but they're just trying to deter the public you know and and as parents you know whatever it is that you kind of kind of got to do to kind of get a grip of the situation and get a grip of your child so um Recently, um, Floyd, he was on Instagram with one of his other sons, one of his other kids, and looks like he's trying to teach him the ropes of boxing, and they were kind of like doing like some exercises and some drills. I really don't know. He didn't elaborate on if, he, his, if, if that particular son is actually going toward trying to be a professional boxer or not, or was this just like you know, little tutorial, little father-son time, and they were just sparring together or working out together. It didn't really indicate on the, um, you know, the comments, um, the captions rather under his Instagram. So that was that. And that was like maybe a couple of few days after the video went viral of Yaya being over at NBA Youngboy's house and him calling her his wife and NBA Youngboy basically calling on her dad and calling him a bitch ass. Why did he call him a bitch ass? Nobody knows. Nobody knows. You know, I don't know if they've actually met. They may have. Um, if anyone out there listening knows if they've actually met or not, you know, please let me know. I don't know if they've actually met or not. Maybe they've spoken over the phone. I don't know. I know a while back, uh, maybe sometime last year or maybe it was earlier this year, um, I know that um, NBA suspected Yaya of cutting his tires on one of his, uh, one of his vehicles. Uh, which inspired a song that he did called Dirty Diana. I mean, that might have just been something to boost up sales for the song. You know what I mean? They, they do that. Whatever. Um, but yeah, I know that she had denied it and said she didn't do that. And 
would not do that and didn't have to do that and all that stuff. So, um, I don't know if, you know, because of that incident up to now, if the two have ever met and if they've talked, why is he calling him a bitch ass? Again, we don't know. I mean, I would think it's derived from something. Like, why would you call a man a bitch if you, you know, liked him or if you've never met him, like, and you ain't got nothing against him because you've never even talked to him or met him? Why would you just opt to call him that? You know I mean? It sounds a little strange. So maybe they have met, maybe they have talked. However, um, you know, NBA young boy pretty much don't have anything to worry about by way of um worrying about her dad actually putting his hands on him because his hands are lethal weapons i mean we all know that he's a boxer um whatever his stats is he's never lost okay and and plus the little boy is 20 and he ain't big as a minute i mean he's not gonna touch him i mean for what you already know you can break him in two <laughs> you know what i mean you could pretty much break his jaw break his head off of his neck basically you know what i mean so and he definitely don't want to get in no shooting match. You know what I mean? It's just too ignorant, too stupid, and it's not worth it. However, you know, he does love his daughter and all that stuff. But, you know, as a parent, and I'm a parent, too, of a kid, and, you know, you, you kind of got to tread lightly. Like, you know, because what will happen is that if he really goes in and going off and yelling and screaming and calling her out of her name and saying she's stupid and calling him out of his name and saying how much he's not right for her or he's, he ain't ish and all these things, what will happen is that it'll probably push Yaya more further and further away from him and the family and pretty much will put her more like at his at NBA young boys mercy I mean she's already there anyway so you know if anybody knows anything and I've said this briefly in my other video about this topic you know if anybody knows anything about teenagers it's nothing that you can tell them like they are so headstrong about whatever it is that they want or they believe and that's it you it's nothing that you can do or say they kind of got to go through that stage and go through that process. And to be honest, as a parent, it's agonizing. Like, it's truly, truly agonizing to see your kid kind of just going in this path of bullshit. Like, and you, you pray. And all you can do is pray. All you can do is pray and, and hope that, you know, everything that you've been teaching them and instilling them about confidence and self-worth and right from wrong and and you know not really being involved with this type of person and that type of person kicks in that's all you can do that's all you can do because like i said if you if you go in too hard she's going to get even more defiant and even more rebellious and she's going to go over there and she's going to stay and she may not even keep the lines of communication open with her parents and that's what they don't want you know what I mean so um, you know we gotta we just gotta keep the faith on that you know what I mean because it's serious it's serious and you know this little the other little girl that is um, considered the victim that Yaya hurt in the incident you know I don't know for sure if she's uh, pregnant or not. I don't, and if she is, I'm not sh exactly sure if it's NBA Young Boys or not. Um, a lot of people saying that it is. A lot of people saying that she was pregnant, and she still is. The injuries did not harm her child if she is pregnant. Um, it was not said that any injuries were to an unborn kid in the report, you know, that um, came out to the public. So. Um, yeah, no one, no, at least I don't know if the child is hers, if she actually is pregnant or not. Um, I do know that it is another young lady that is supposedly pregnant by NBA young boy. Um, another girlfriend that he has, um, I believe her name, they go by, she goes by a KL Marie. Another little girl, you know, in her teens, or she might be in her early 20s, I don't know, that is supposedly pregnant pregnant by him with a girl so you know this little boy he has a lot of stuff he's got a lot of moving parts a lot of girlfriends a lot of baby mamas and you know I know when I was 20 I, 
it 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 didn't attract me. I mean, a guy with money is going to attract any young girl, but you know, the turn off for me was when you had a lot of kids, and God forbid if you had a lot of kids but a lot of different women, that just turned me off because I already knew it was going to be too much drama, too much competition for your time and your energy and your efforts and and I had to compete with too many people trying to, you know, get the money that I'm trying to get <laughs> from you. So, you know, yeah, it just it deterred me. So, you never had to worry about me talking to somebody that had a bunch of kids. So, um the jury's still out on this. It could go either way. Let's hope for the best for a little money, yeah, yeah. I know it's agony for her parents, you know. Uh, Mayweather is a jock and he is you know about that life and he definitely has the money and but this is hurting him deep 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 because that's his child that's his baby his baby girl you know he has another daughter too but um you know when you see your kids going down the wrong path you it's, it's always it's always gonna hurt it's always gonna hurt and you know who knows as a family they may come together Floyd may may um, have some realizations himself. I mean, let's be honest. The man has multiple records for domestic violence, you know. And to be totally honest, maybe the mannerisms of money Yaya is what she's actually seen in her life with her own father and her own mother, or maybe just with her father and other women, or just maybe he has read some things, or just, you know, have been a fly on the wall and have actually heard some stories um, about her dad and domestic violence and you know she's acted out on in her own way you know in her own situation um, when it related to a man and another woman so um, I don't know maybe this may is unfortunate but maybe this may help um, Floyd you know change his life and change his ways and um, you know maybe want to get some help for himself with his issues with um, anger, you know, because that's really all that domestic violence is. It's just uncontrollable anger. And what is the anger coming from? Where is it derived from? You know, I don't know if he's going to go to a therapist or anything, but maybe he should. And maybe this um, crisis, and I do consider it a crisis because this can go downhill. This can go down here really fast, really quick. For Yaya, I mean, this girl actually can um, has a case for assault, and I'm you know, like I said, if she's pregnant, that's even worse. You know what I mean? So um, let's keep our fingers crossed and keep the prayers open for Money Yaya. Okay, so that was that, um, and I do also want to touch base on one other thing. Um, this one is kind of like a trip, also, you know. Um, if you've been following me and following my channel, thank you so much um, to you guys. But I also um, wanted to talk really quick about a video I did last year. Um, and please check my um, video history and go and check out the video that I did on Nipsey Hussle's Baby Mama, China Hussle, um, a.k.a. Tanisha Foster. Um where this is about the video was about when she was um, in the battle of her life um, trying to save her daughter and keep her daughter custody um, between her and Nipsey Hussle's sister um, and ultimately she lost custody okay I talked about that I mean back then that was all over the internet about unfortunately how his baby mama Tanisha Foster was unfit uh, she was going through or went through a lot of different things um, in that time period, in that year worth of time and prior to. Um, it looks like she may drink a lot. I don't know if she's solely an alcoholic, but it looks like she may drink to mask different issues that she doesn't want to deal with. Um, according to her messy Instagram that she had, I don't know, I've been told since then she's cleaned up her Instagram a little bit, but you know, it had a lot of different, um, videos of her showing bottles of pills and, um, what appeared to be cups of lean and just numerous, 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 numerous photos of her and different guys. Now, Pictures tell a thousand words. However, we don't know if these guys were just over a lifetime, different years, different months. 
Um, she could have been single, different situations, but you know, just seeing picture after picture after picture after picture after picture of a guy, a different guy, you know, one would think like, damn, you know, she looks like she a hoe. You know what I mean? It doesn't necessarily mean that at all. Um, but that's what it appeared. And, um, you know, I think, I believe the public believed that she may have been a little hoeish because everything else that they saw of her life on Instagram just seemed to be in a shambles, just a complete mess. But um, I just want to fast forward really quickly and talk about um, their child together, Tanisha and Nipsey Hussle's daughter, which is Imani. Her name is Imani Askadon. And um, forgive me if, if I'm pronouncing their last name incorrectly, but um, Imani went um, live, I believe, um, March 31st of this year, 2020. Um, I guess she was over her mom's house. You know, again, her she her aunt has custody of her, which is Nipsey Hussle's sister. And but you know, she's obviously able to go and visit with her mom, um, unsupervised visitation. You know, which initially I didn't have a problem with that because, like I said, this is her daughter. This is her child. The child loves her mom unconditionally, regardless of how screwed up or messed up or whatever the case may be with the mom. Children love their parents, right? So she gets to go over to visit with her mom, yada, 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 weeks, maybe weeks at a time, maybe a weekend. I don't know. But um, this was the weekend of Nipsey Hussle's death. He died last year, 2019, March 31st. Now, apparently she was over at her mom's. A video went viral of Imani basically standing outside of her mom's home, which is, I guess, somewhere in Southern California, Southern uh, South Los Angeles, I guess, Um where she was saying that she could not get back in the house, that she was put out of the home because her mom wanted to clean up the house. And I guess her mom was like, go outside. You know what I mean? She didn't really indicate why she ended up outside, but she just said her mom um, was cleaning the house and then she tried to get back in and she could not get back in and it was scorcher. It was a scorching hot day. She was burning up hot. She tried to get in and couldn't. Now, I do recall a lot, not often, because when my mom cleaned up the house, we just had to sit down in our rooms and watch TV and stay out of her way while she cleaned the home, you know, after she had asked us to do our part, whatever our choice, chores were. You know, we just had to sit in and watch TV and stay out of the way. I never had to go outside. You know, not, not specifically for my mom to clean the house. Now, sometimes when she would get tired of us running around, she'll say, go outside, you know what I mean? But never, if it was a situation of us wanting to come back in, we couldn't come back in, you know what I mean? And especially if it was a scorching hot day. And where I'm, was, where I'm from, when it's really, really hot, when the heat is really, really hot outside, they have it all over the news, because we usually have pretty decent summers it's not really really hot or anything like that so if it's to the point where it's a day that's really really hot they have it all on the news and everybody's all aware of it and we couldn't go outside anyway like that because it's just too hot so my mom wouldn't dare put us outside when it's extremely hot outside but um, apparently, you know, they're in L.A., so maybe they're used to the heat. It's not necessarily a big deal to them. I get it. But if she tried to come back in the home, why wouldn't you let her in the home? Why would the door be locked? You know what I mean? Like, that's, I don't get that. I don't understand that as a mother. If my kid was outside right now, I'm not going to lock him outside. Now, I might lock the door if I'm in the back and he's just somewhere running around the neighborhood Okay, I get that. But after he knocks and all these things and yells for me, I'm not going to just ignore him and not let him back in. You get what I'm saying? Like, she was outside basically saying that she was trying to get inside because it was really, really hot. And her mom did not let her back in. I don't understand that. Like, what if it was a, a, a stray dog, a vicious dog that was trying to get her? She couldn't even get back in the house to save herself from some vicious pit bull or something. Or what if it was some guys that was walking down the street and, I mean, 
in LA, I'm quite sure um, Imani is pretty well known, either by name or by face. I mean, Nipsey, they were born and raised out there. I'm sure she's well known out there. And, you know, what if some guys came down the street or rolled down the street and abducted her, like just put her in her car or something? You know what I mean? It sounds far-fetched, but these things happen every day right up under people's nose. Like, why would her mother, like... And then the thing is that the girl didn't never even come to the door. She didn't even come to the door and say, I'm not done cleaning up yet, dear. Give me five more minutes or ten more minutes or what." Even though that's stupid. Get, don't get me wrong. That's dumb. But I'm just saying she could have responded to the child knocking on the door and said, Hey, I'm not done yet, babe. Give me ten more minutes or whatever. She just never answered the door. So the girl just knocking on the door trying to get in and nobody responds. If that's not irresponsible and neglectful, I don't know what is. And I'm not trying to rag on the girl. It's just that she makes it hard for people to speak positive positivity on her when she does ignorant things. And then Imani went on to say that she tried to go over to her grandfather's house, which obviously I guess it must be her mom's father, which obviously lives not too far away in walking distance, maybe down the street, around the block. She didn't really indicate, but obviously it's in walking distance. And she tried to go to his house. She said his car was in the driveway and she knocked on his door. She didn't get any answer or anything from him either. It's like, what the fuck is going on? Like, is everybody somewhere in a room doing crack or something? Like, and I hate to say that, but that's just a picture that comes to my mind. Or she's somewhere asleep or or too drunk to get up. I don't know. And I don't like to put the negativity out there. But, I mean, again, she makes it difficult not to put the negativity out there when she's so neglectful and stupid. Like, if your child is knocking on the door and saying, come in, it's like, you got to let her in. Okay, you're cleaning. So what? All parents clean. I mean, are they necessarily putting their kid out and saying they can't come in? I mean, if the house is dirty or real junky, it might take you two, three hours to clean up. She got to stay outside for two, three hours? What if the little girl had to pee? You know, or do the number two? Anything. Like, that is so fucked up. I'm sorry. It is so fucked up and stupid. On Nipsey Baby Mama's part. She is ignorant. I'm sorry. I mean, and this goes to show why she does not have custody of her daughter. Why it was so many naysayers who felt that it was wrong for her daughter to be taken away and, and, and living with the aunt. Now do you fucking see that this woman is not fit to be a parent? I'm sorry. I mean, she don't blame it on me. Blame it on her. She's the one that does ignorant stuff. If this is not ignorant, then I don't know what is. But I'm quite sure there's going to be so many people saying, well, that's not this and that's not that and so what and da 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 My mom used to tell me to go outside all the time. Yeah, my mom told me to go outside too, but I ain't never been put out because my mom is cleaning up and couldn't get the F back in. I mean, they are in L.A. It's not like she's in Beverly Hills somewhere. Like I said, it could be stray dogs going down the street. It could be weird people walking down the street people do kid abduction all the freaking time it could be people who have interest of just trying to make money i mean they know that nipsey left an estate they could have kidnapped her just to um hold her ransom to try to get some ends anything can happen and it's just stupid that you put your kid out and did not let her come back in you know what i mean and then when she was trying to get back in no answer. She didn't come to the door. She didn't answer the phone. Whatever the case may be. That's fucking ignorant. I don't give a damn what anybody says, okay? Then she goes down to the father or grandfather and he don't answer the fucking door. Like, what's wrong with these people? And this is why she lives with the auntie. Period. Where it's more safer, more productive, more structure. You know what I mean? More parental guidance and... Because she out on her own when she over her mama's. I mean, I'm just, I just, that's just what I believe. And nobody going to get me to believe different. Because when these things happen, come from the horse's mouth, the horse being Imani herself talking about it. When this shit comes out, it's just nothing that you could tell me that make me think that this lady is on point and deserve to have full custody. I mean, this is why she was voted against taking care of her child full time. You know, after these people go in, talk to her, 
get a feel for who she is, get a feel for her lifestyle. They deemed it, you know, she needs to be over here with the aunt. And when you hear stories like this, you understand why. So, um, you know, go to um, go through my video library. Check out that video that I did. I'll leave the link below of me talking about um, Nipsey Hussle's baby mama, Tanisha Foster, a.k.a. China Hussle. Um, this is when everything was going down, when she was trying to, um, in fact, keep custody of her child. And um, so you can get a, a bit of a better picture of, you know what happened and what went on and all that stuff but um I did have a quick video um, that I happen to have found online and I don't know if you guys can find it or not I've, I've heard it's been taken down um, I happen to find it on um, what's this person's name I think it is a youtuber her name is CB news or at least that's the channel's name um, CB news C E B E and then news. They had a actual footage um, of Imani um, talking about being left outside. So I am actually going to play the footage that I saw of um, Nipsey's daughter outside. And here it is. Hold on. And come back until they're finished cleaning up. And Can you see it? Like her. Um, ignore the bumps on my head. They're stress bumps. Um, I tried to go to my grandpa's house. His car is in the front. Um, but he's not answering the door. And so now I'm stuck outside. And then I end up crying because it's freaking hot out here. And they, I can't go back inside. It's freaking hot out here. And they, I can't go back inside my mother's house. And then it's the freaking day of my father's death March 31st 2019 he died and then they're just screaming at me and doing all of that type of stuff and I have to be stuck outside all day and I can't ever go back inside her house I can't go inside my grandpa's house and it's just my life isn't perfect sometimes you know she's fine the 11 year old girl said she tried to go to her grandpa so do you hear her do you hear the defeat in her voice? Like, she is just outdone. She's like, my life isn't perfect. No, your mom's life isn't perfect. And your mom is out of control. Your mom doesn't make the best decisions. It has nothing to do with you. <sighs> and that's what someone needs to tell her. Hopefully, when she goes back home to her auntie and she tells the family, you know, what happened, they'll tell her and they'll help reboost her back up and say no you are fine sweetheart you have your whole life ahead of you all you need to do is keep moving forward stay in school stay doing great in school you know so you can get ready for college and all these things and um you know be the best that you can be don't worry about your mom your mom you know she has to work through some things and she doesn't make the best decisions for you which is why you are in fact living with us so hopefully with this incident that happened to you you will understand a little bit better while you know a little you will understand a little bit better this is the best decision for you to be here because i'm quite sure initially her daughter was a little bit torn up that she had to leave her mom and stay with her aunt um full time but like i said if they explain it in that way in such a way like you know, now her daughter will understand. Like, I, I can't live with my mom. My mom just doesn't make the best decisions for me. And um, it's so unfortunate. You know, like, like, like she said, you know, this was her daddy's death a year ago. You know, they were supposed to be somewhere just kind of celebrating and reminiscing about the good times. And here it is. Her mom puts her out fucking three hours. She even said it takes them forever to clean up the house. The thing is, I just can't understand is that why didn't you respond to her when she came to the door? You could have come to the door and say, honey, I'm almost done. Give me another hour. Like I said, even though that's fucking stupid. But, you know, what if she had to use the bathroom? Like, she just got to go go for what she know and use it on herself? She got to go knock on a stranger's door, the neighbor's door, and ask to use the bathroom? It's just a bad look. It's just not a good look. 
And um, it's just sad. It's really, really sad that this girl still have not got herself together. Like, what is it going to take? And like I said, I don't follow her on Instagram, but I'm almost sure she's still probably taking pictures. and Because I, I guess since everything has been said and done, maybe they've given her um, part of her money, I guess, that was left to her since she does have a child by um, Nipsey. And um, the other part has been given to um, Lauren London for her child. So, because she does... Uh, the last time I checked, she had a car, and I believe it was it had a Benz symbol. So I guess she went out and bought her a Benz, and maybe she bought her a better place to stay. So maybe the neighborhood wasn't so bad, but still, it's just it's just irresponsible of her as a mother to do that to her kid. So that's really all I wanted to talk about. I do uh, I would love to hear from you guys. Tell me what you think about um, the Mani Yaya situation and um, how do you think um, her father has to play this situation with kind of drawing his daughter back into the family and what do you think uh, he would have to do to do that and also tell me what you think about Nipsey Hussle's baby mama not letting her daughter first putting her out and then not responding and letting her back in after being stuck outside for hours in the scorching heat Please, please comment below, like if you choose, also subscribe if you choose, and I will be back with another video soon. Bye.